My parents found out about my reversion to Islam and they've been calling me a terrorist. They said they don't want me in the house anymore because they won't have Muslim beliefs in their home. In today's world, diversity should be celebrated, but unfortunately we often find ourselves grappling with discrimination and bias. Greetings everyone. Today we delve into a critical issue that demands our attention, the mistreatment faced by Muslims worldwide. This is not just about one person, it's a broader concern that affects communities globally. Let's begin by sharing the story of an individual who is facing mistreatment after embracing Islam. Despite the fact I have no criminal record, I don't drink, I don't go out and cause trouble, I wake up in the morning, I work and I read books and go for a walk. So they've been stealing my stuff all day and I have proof of this. My car keys and hiding them, stealing the stuff that I own while also threatening to kick me out of the house. And I recorded footage of the house and didn't tell them of different areas in the house. I was looking for my keys and I went into one room and they just disappeared after they were gaslighting me and calling me a terrorist and calling me Islam's this and Islam's that. I don't care. I only, I only fear God. I don't fear man. As you can see, I'm very calm and collected. What they've done is when I left the house to go look outside, they said, oh, we found them here. I came back and I checked my camera and they weren't there. So they stole, they stole them and they knew I was getting on to it because I was narrowing down the options. Because I caught them stealing my stuff, they phoned the police on me. So I'm going back in a cell tonight and I've done nothing. Just pure Islamophobia. I'm pinned up against the wall. I'm having all these influencers publicly try and defamate my name. I can't run my business. I might be facing jail for standing up to kids being groomed in public school. What crime have I committed? And they're willing to th phone the police on me and throw me in a cell because I caught them lying. Alhamdulillah, I don't feel any fear. Just so you're aware, I'm going to give footage of the police. The police are here now. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah, I haven't convicted, I haven't done anything. I committed no crime and I have proof, so. This clip highlights the real struggles and discrimination experienced by Muslim converts in their families and societies. It's disheartening to witness the mistreatment of Muslims, whether it's discrimination, hate crimes, or societal prejudice. This mistreatment extends beyond borders, impacting individuals who simply want to practice their faith peacefully. Islamophobia, a term we hear often but may not fully comprehend. It's not just about fear, it's about prejudice, discrimination, and even violence against Muslims. This issue persists on a global scale, affecting millions of lives. Islamophobia, fueled by misconceptions and stereotypes has become a global concern, but why is it that Islam seems to face more scrutiny than any other religion? Have you ever wondered why Islam seems to face more scrutiny than other religions? Let's explore this question. Is it the lack of understanding, cultural biases, or something else? Let's address some common misconceptions. Islam, like any other major religion, preaches peace, compassion, and social justice. It is vital to separate the actions of a few extremists from the beliefs of an entire faith. The world's fear of Islam often stems from misinformation. It's crucial to recognize the diversity within the Muslim community and the peaceful teachings that form the foundation of Islam. The fear of Islam often stems from unfamiliarity. By understanding the basic tenets of Islamic belief and faith, we can bridge the gap between communities and promote a more inclusive society. Why does Islam face heightened scrutiny? It's essential to recognize that all religions have diverse beliefs and practices. Let's explore why Islamophobia persists and how we can challenge these biases. Islam emphasizes tolerance, kindness, and respect for others. By delving into the core principles of the faith, we can dispel stereotypes and build a more harmonious world. It's time to challenge our own preconceptions and promote understanding. We must stand united against discrimination, embracing the richness of our global community. Let's work together to combat Islamophobia and create a world where everyone can practice their faith without fear. In conclusion, we must stand against Islamophobia. We call for empathy, education, and understanding to foster a world where diversity is celebrated, not feared. Thank you for joining this crucial conversation. Let's strive for a world where every individual, regardless of their faith, is treated with respect and dignity.